kind of position ever ask you this question. I want to know if anybody in this place knows that they're a sinner. Really? You don't even know? Who in this place knows that they're a sinner? This is, listen, this is, this is metal music, right? We take pride in it, huh? <laughs> Can I tell you something? If you raised your hand to that, the only right decision a just God can make is to send you for he to hell for all eternity. <laughs> Listen, man, people come up here and they'll, and they'll preach stuff that everybody wants to hear because it's popular and it's easy and it's comfortable. But maybe, maybe, maybe it's about time for some band to step up here and have the balls to tell you like it really is. The reality of the world in which we live is that no matter what you believe, if you think the Bible is a bunch of fairy tales, if, if you're a Buddhist or an atheist, no matter what you claim to believe, sooner or later, you're going to stand face to face with Jesus. Yeah. And on that day, friend, it's not going to be how much money you gave to charity. It's not going to be how loud you clapped at that Florida Day concert. It's not going to be how much your grandma prayed for you or how many Bible stories you can remember. It's going to be whether your entire life was put in the hands of the King Jesus, the only one that is worthy or not. I'm telling you, our only hope as sinners is the blood of Jesus shed on that cross. We have to be utterly convinced that the blood of Jesus is able to make us clean because that's our only hope. Friend, if heaven isn't a gift, none of us are getting in. So listen, we don't come here for the sake of popularity or social status. We come here to preach the good news that God wrapped himself in flesh and hung on a cross and shed his blood so that you might have life and forgiveness and mercy for your sin. I want to know, is that good news to anybody in this place?